guys we have a major major update just coming into the game I didn't think it was gonna happen tonight but holy crap okay I gotta I gotta first I gotta put the camera down and you guys will see so real quick I was just normally playing magic online doing nothing just I didn't think nothing was gonna happen the solo eclipse was today fun because I guess I was working I don't know many people were tweeting about it but anyways what we have and I don't know how this happened <laughs> okay so this is what happened all of a sudden I get a we get a tweet from the Silk Road it's saying that there's an APK mine going on and being downloaded into the game as we speak so I'm gonna go ahead and download the reddit of the Silk Road it says the Silk Road says APK mine of uh, version 0.71.0 is complete. A new incubator exclusive ray, shinies, and 135 new species of Pokemon. That means generation 3. <clears throat> okay, so um, let's let's break it down. Basically, a super incubator. Leaks around the super incubator has continued, confirming that the name is the super incubator. It is currently believed that the incubator will hatch eggs faster than the starting incubator. Uh, Interestingly, the incubator itself receives make a makeover. This update in the super incubator has a unique purple. Looks so well. It is currently unknown whenever this item is purchased or a given item in a reward. Okay, so that's it. Several bug fixes, you know, an error system, cooldown for raid notifications, uh, potential memory fixes, you know, little little fixes out in the game, you know. So, um, changing to shiny. It's unclear, but notably, addition has been made behind the scenes regarding how shiny Pokemon sparkle. Those with shinies take a look at seeing if you notice a difference. There is also an ambitious warning regarding shiny spawn effect. Through this may be simple applying uh, spawning the particle effects. Uh, but there is a chance it may actually refer to sparkles on the game on the map. Um, wouldn't bet too much on it though. Clearly shinies are about to be front and the center of the update probably so <laughs> I'm sweating a little bit here. Okay. Exclusive raid update. Several additions have appeared in the upcoming exclusive raid uh, mechanics. Though it appears to largely be updating the existing raid code to support the new types of raids, such as addition as exclusive raid one and one. I was so excited that I completely forgot about that part. Don't mind the TV right now at the moment. But anyways, this code go. Uh, many of the tweaks of the raid system code has occurred particularly regarding the count of the user in the lobby, raid timers, and spawn timers. Sometimes you're referring to the default raid item rewards, and it may be simpler. Not really many changes on that one, maybe just helping us out a little bit in the raid system. Ditto change? Uh, a new label called Metamon ID. Ditto original name from Japanese. Uh, so Prime Snipe here in this AP card, APK. Long after we assumed that Ditto mechanics were escalated to future species, as was done for Generation 2. Perhaps this is simply preparing for Generation 3, some of which will be Ditto's. Okay. Smaller changes, moves that, searchable, moves that are now searchable text in the Pokemon screen. Well, that's easy, that's pretty cool, that's pretty efficient. A AR camera and Android permission system change. The new man, uh, I, I don't use Android, so we'll skip that part. I, you guys can probably see it anyway. Okay, and saving the less for last. 135 new species in the APK. <laughs> that means generation three. Okay, so it's finally time to get hype travelers. 135 new species, all generation 3 species, are now appearing in the APK me Metamine. With that also comes 73 new candy fam uh, families from Trico to Deoxys. We anticipated it will be a little while yet before these species begin appearing. The fallen do not appear yet in the APK and it will be needed before generation goes live. Sound files for each species, their battle cries. Any addition moveset that may be added to generation, generation 3 species use. No new movesets were added to the APK just yet. Well, um, basically they are now with Coming off the legendary hype, it is great to see so many new things are in our way. Shinies and the incoming new species will be all be given us more incentive to keep uh, get it out and exploring. And we're especially anxiously watching to see how exclusive rays are rolled out. Hopefully this bug piece has helped more travelers to get up and running faster and stay out of the network for help. We got some new species to learn about travelers. Until then, we'll see you in the road. Okay, so basically, let's let's think about this for a second. Okay, so they they go ahead and put an APK mandate introducing from Trico to the Axis 135 new Pokemon. That's over 100 Pokemon that we can catch now in the game. That we'll be able to catch in the game as soon as possible now. Bear in mind, this is only sprites that they're putting into the game. So, 
With that being said, there's no sounds for those Pokemons yet, or there's no moves for those Pokemons. A lot of new Pokemons out there are specifically for uh, Generation 3. So we know that the moves is going to change for a lot of a lot of, a lot of the Pokemons, especially for the one Gen 1 and Gen 2. But with that being said, we know, now we know for certainly because of this, that Generation 3 is coming out in the next ma big major update. Now, I was actually wanting to do a video of how the speculation is gonna go on because of uh, the hype of legendaries. This summer, technically, this summer has been legendary for every single one of us because we got, finally got legendaries, we were able to catch birds, we know Mute is coming in exclusive raids. Now, this is my speculation. The, la the last month of the quarter is September. Ah, uh, and of the, actually the quarter, right? Yeah, okay, so September, by the beginning of September, we're gonna probably see the exclusive raids. Now, we don't know if it's just gonna be Mewtwo coming out of those raids. It's probably gonna be Mew, Celebi, even Ho Ho, but I'm, I'm thinking maybe Ho Ho's might be appear just a little bit later. And hear me out on this, and this is the reason why. Ho Ho is connected to the legendary dogs, while Lugia was connected to the actual legendary birds. If you see the Pokemon movie 200, they use, or 200, 2000, then you see that Lugia was always the, the maker, the one that brings bring harmony between the teams. While the dogs are more creative because of Ho Ho, and Ho Ho saved three specific Pokemons from a burning building, and uh, it basically re resurrect them as legendary Pokemon, so we can write Code and Entei. So, with that being said, it is possible that Ho Ho may not be released just yet. But it may be released with the legendary dogs. It may some kind of event. Now, to keep some of the hype still here, we understand that the three legendary, actually the four legendary birds, Lugia, Moltres, and Articuno, and Zapdos, <laughs> um, they will be here until the end of the month. The end of August, on the 31st, will be the last time we'll be able to catch those legendaries. We have nine days from this video until we actually see the end of, of those. And after that, we'll have exclusive raids. Exclusive raids where we'll be seeing Mewtwo and the rest. Now, I'm going. A, I'm probably going a little off topic here on what I really wanted to talk about. But that being the case, now we know that they're working on Generation Three. With that being said, that's gonna keep the hype going until the end of the year, knowing that we have to catch 135 new Pokémon in the game. Now. More speculations come. I do think that I want to talk about more of the speculation of what's going to happen by the end of the year. I was thinking of doing that video today, but um, too tired from work. Probably do it tomorrow or maybe Wednesday. But that being said, we have a new API update. We basically okay. So it's not. It's going to be the biggest update. It's only going to be a small update that tells us uh, what's coming, what's the future to come. You know. So. For now, it's just going to be probably small fixes, helping out the exclusive raid system, and then seeing Mewtwo by the end uh, by the end of the month. That being said, we got uh, probably going to give us that last month to see the exclusive raids, depending on how they're going to release other Pokémon. Because they said that in their tweet on Monday, they said that the exclusive raids not just going to be for Mewtwo, but other legendary or mythical Pokémon legendaries as well. So, with that being said. Let's get hype, trainers. That's all we have to do. Let's hope that Generation 3 may come in the last quarter of the year. We have all winter to be able to find them. And by the time that happens, we may see more. I mean, Pokemon Go is, is growing and growing popularity. We have still four more generations after the third one. So we'll see how all this game keeps us alive. But anyways, thank you very much for watching the video, guys. And if you like the content, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm gonna try to post this as fast as possible. I know it's probably it's gonna be a, just a quick thing, but anyways, it's fun <laughs> to see new things come to the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.